Hey, what's up guys? So, um, it's Friday, so I got my hat on backwards because I'm doing yard work all around the house, which is great. It's a nice mental break. And uh, I always wear my hat backwards. Some people ask me why, because I can't pull off a forward hat. It just doesn't work. So, I rarely wear a hat, but when I do, I wear a hat backwards. So, um, I got a question on my Patreon from Ken, and I get emails and comments all the time, and I try to answer them, but anybody who leaves me a question on Patreon, I always make that as a, a priority. So, um, I wanted to answer Ken in a video, and uh, probably something that you guys have thought of. So I'm going to talk about tech, everything I use to make videos. And I should start off by saying I'm not a tech guy. And to even go a little bit further, I want to talk about what was what the inspiration to even start making videos. And so going back ever since I kind of started doing woodworking and, and home improvement, um, I always thought it would be fun to have a show. I mean, a dream job would be to have a show that would be kind of a combination of Norm from the New Yankee Workshop and this old house and Martha Stewart all sort of smushed into one. So that was uh, kind of the idea and I like all those things. I like food, I like working in the yard, I like art and uh, I like building furniture and, and things like that. So I always thought it would be really cool to, uh, if I could get a videographer to work with me. and. That just really wasn't in the cards because I couldn't afford one. It's, there's a lot of downtime when you're building furniture. And then all of a sudden YouTube came onto the scene and I had kind of a little crummy uh, Canon point and shoot with video capability. And I made a video. I didn't know how to make a video. I had a Dell computer at the time. And I went onto YouTube and searched how to make a video with this Dell computer. And I made a video of my kids snowboarding. And that was sort of. Uh, really exciting. I thought, wow, this is great. You know, I could use a tripod and make some video. So the first video I made was a farm table, a Vermont farm table, I call it. And that did pretty well. And, um, and then that was uh, kind of the kick to buy a good camera. So the first good camera that I started with was a Canon uh, T3i or 3TI, I'm not sure, and I used a Rode mic. And that's what I used up until just about a year ago when I upgraded to a Canon 80D. I got this at Costco. It came with two batteries. It came with uh, a telephoto lens and a carrying case, which I basically never used. Um, but the main reason why I wanted to get the, uh, I actually was going to buy the Canon 70D, but they didn't have it, and I needed the camera for a shoot, and so I ended up buying the 80D, but the, um, the main thing was I needed autofocus. So um, this camera has autofocus where the T3i was depth of field, so you would have to focus in and then, uh, you know, press record and, and get going, where this, for the most part, will focus on you. Occasionally, it you do have a problem where the camera is just trying to find focus. So you can set the camera up, shoot, and go through the whole sequence where you might be talking and drawing something or pointing something out with your pencil. And then you look at what you have in the entire time the camera is trying to focus. In a situation like that, I'll focus the camera and then I'll turn the autofocus onto manual focus. And um, so, anyway, uh, this is what I'm using right now, and I should say, um, uh, at the moment, I'm shooting most of my video with the uh, Canon 80D. But at the moment, at this, what I'm shooting with, what I'm talking to is my iPhone 7. And I'm really impressed with the audio, not the audio, the video capability of the iPhone 7. It's, um, it's really good and it's autofocus. And that brings me to the main question that Ken asked, which was, uh, what kind of gimbal am I using with my iPhone? And I ended up buying this. It's the uh, Smooth Q3 Access uh, smartphone stabilizer made by Jiyun. And 
Um, it's not the most expensive one on the market. It was about 140 bucks, and you can really dial it in if you use Bluetooth with your phone. Um, but I don't really seem to have the need for that. It's a truck going by. That's one of the downsides about making video in New Jersey. There's just always a lot of road traffic and often um, air traffic. Sometimes when the planes get diverted, they'll just be, you know, one every every five minutes. So anyway, that's what I shoot with uh, when I'm shooting the food show. The entire food show, except for the intro and outro, were shot on the iPhone 7 with this gimbal. What I use for voiceover, and I don't do all that much voiceover, but uh, when I do, I bought this mic at Best Buy. It was about a hundred bucks. It's a Yeti Blue, and um, this works pretty good. Uh, I think my, I think it could be a little bit better, but you know, I'm not like I said, I'm not a tech guy. I would love to have a tech guy work for me one day, because I just don't want to put the time into uh, learning all this tech stuff when I'm trying to make a project, because the project actually ma takes up a lot of time. Now, one of my newest things that I bought is the drone, and this is the DJI Phantom 4. It was a thousand dollars so I waited for it to go on sale and the main reason for buying this is I wanted to uh, shoot my friend Francis Cunningham's studio the landscape around his studio in Massachusetts so my friend Francis Cunningham I think he's 85 years old uh, he's basically my teacher uh, my art teacher I would consider him that uh, he is the artist who inspired me to paint the landscape. He was a student of Edwin Dickinson. I was just really fortunate to meet him. So for the past three years, I've been traveling up to the Berkshires with him, and we spend about three days in the Berkshires, and uh, I basically interview him, and, uh, and I have all these recordings of, of him. And I did make one video, but I had to take it down because it had third-party content in it. I used... Uh, Vivaldi's Four Seasons and uh, I didn't have a problem in this country but I think in Germany uh, the video wasn't allowed to be played and then I got some other kind of warning so I ended up taking it off the channel because I didn't want to put my channel in risk of getting a strike I still have the video and maybe maybe I'll put it up on this channel because I'm not as concerned about this channel because it's not my main channel my main channel is really my business channel so um, uh, when I was up in when I was up in the Berkshires in May, I was interviewing my friend, and after interviewing him, interviewing him, I went out with the drone and took footage with the idea that I will have drone footage. And as he's talking about the landscape, uh, I'll have the drone footage. So um, that was the main inspiration there. But I do use this for intro and outro shots for the um, uh, for the main channel. Now I think that is just about it except for what I edit with. I think um, maybe about five years ago I switched over to I should just put this down here. I switched over to an Apple computer and I edit everything on iMovie and I just can't get over how simple it is it's just such a great program it's definitely good enough for me I um, there's probably some more things I can learn about it um, but for my videos I, I couldn't be happier anytime you have any kind of a technical question you can just type it in and somebody out there in the world is going to tell you how to uh, how to do whatever it is you want to do and uh, so if you're getting if you're going to get into making videos I tell everybody uh, just get an Apple and use iMovie because it's really simple also you can uh, edit movies pretty easily on the iPhone and that's another thing that I just started doing for Instagram sometimes I'll just take pieces of a video and uh, edit them together with my phone and then upload them to Instagram so um, anyway that's just a little bit of a tech talk how I make videos and um, again, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, 
If you're interested in my Patreon page, definitely go check it out because um, often what I'll do is make a video like this and I'll post it to Patreon and maybe uh, sometimes it will make it to the art channel or sometimes it won't. This one will. I'll probably post this one over to the art channel three or four days after it goes to Patreon. So uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.